Hello guys and welcome to our channel. Today's topic is about Japan's John robot that resembles for the 1970s anime character Gundam and has been tested in Yokohama, Japan. The robot stands at nearly 60 feet tall and weighs 24 tons. A giant robot based on a character from a classic anime series has undergone testing in Japan's city of Yokohama. The Masu Humanoid resembles a robot from Mobile Suit Gundam, a popular TV series from the late 1970s and can be seen walking kneeling in a video of the test po posted on Twitter on Monday. According to the company that made this giant robot said that the robot had been in the works since uh, 2014. It stands nearly 60 feet high and weighs 24 tons with more than 200 pieces made from a mixture of steel and carbon fiber reinforced plastic. At the Guandum factory Yokohama a new attraction was made that will allow fans to get up close and personal with the creation and learn about how it was created. The attraction was due to open in October 2020, but because of the coronavirus pandemic, visitors will now head with slightly longer. The company said in a statement that this decision was made to ensure the health and safety of our fans and employees in response to the worldwide spread of the COVID-19. We apologize to all of our fans who were looking forward to our grand opening and asked for your understandings. The company said that the team expects to open the factory within the year. Fans of the multi-billion dollars quantum franchise were, which has expanded to include films, manga, plastic models and video games were given a sneak preview when a speeded up video showed the towering creation taking a knee and moving its right arm and fingers to watch the workers on a nearby observation deck. Engineers reportedly started designing the robot six years ago to ensure each piece met weight restrictions to prevent its limbs from buckling and that all 24 movable parts worked seamlessly. Despite Gwandam's military sci-fi background, the robot's transformation from a collection of parts to fully functioning human eye brushed with tradition when a Shinto priest purified its soon to be installed headed in an adaptation of uh, Jodashiki, a roof flying ceremony usually performed to mark the near completing of a new building. Enemy came about in the early 1900s when a Japanese artist like Oten Shimokawa began experimenting through trial and error to create short animated films. But back then the animations were costly to produce and works from Japan were uh, overshadowed by Disney's success. Uh, during the World War II, the general expanded as Japan's military government ordered animators to create propaganda films and influence the masses. And uh, more recently commercial hit like Pokemon and Dragon Ball Z have brought anime to audiences around the world. And uh, thank you for watching our video and if you wanted to see some more interesting videos like that then subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so you can never miss our latest videos. And also don't forget to like, share and comment down on the video. Hope have a good day.